with everyone in this world, why would you purposely choose to be in a girlfriend, boyfriend relationship with someone who doesn't want to live for Jesus Christ? I can understand if you both at one time were not living for Jesus Christ and someone changes their mind and say, hey, let us live for Jesus Christ now. Maybe that is a different scenario there, a different case. But if you are living for Jesus now, why would you purposely go out and choose someone when they aren't living for Jesus Christ? Like, are you looking on the outside? Like, do you want to do that because that woman has long hair? She has a nice shape. Are you doing it because that man has a lot of money that person has a nice car like that person is popular like are you doing something that can hinder that can possibly i guess hinder your relationship with jesus christ for external stuff yes there are i believe there are really really pretty unsaved women out there yes i believe so there may be really handsome unsaved men out there but don't the bible tell us and i may not have the scripture on me i may post it in the comments but i believe the bible tells us to not be unequally yoked. If I am trying to live for Jesus Christ and that other person isn't, won't there be an issue with that? Won't we... Is it possible for both of us to pretty much bump heads over and over again? I stand for one thing, that other person stands for another thing, like how will it work out? I am speaking spiritual things to that person. That person is speaking carnality to me. How is that going to work? We may agree on some things, but all in all, I believe there is going to be problems. Don't place, don't place so much on the external. Oh, Kevin, that woman has a nice skin tone. Her skin looks soft. You know, she wears nice clothes. She smells real good. Yes, she liked to do witchcraft and curse people and fight people and do all types of evil, but she looks so gorgeous. What? You live for Jesus Christ and you are considering getting and getting into a relationship with a woman doing so much evil, but you want to do it because of the external? Like, are we 12 or 13 or whatever? That is, to me, that is immaturity. Placing so much on the external. Hey, Kevin, that man has a nice car. This person is rich. He told me I don't have to work anymore. Yes, that person beats on me. Yes, that person 
slaps me and insults me, tell me I am nothing and I am trash. Yes, that person cheats on me, but hey, that person told me he will take care of me for the rest of my life. Immaturity. Very, very high level, I think, immaturity. Right? Why not pick someone? Yes, I think there are some pretty saved people. But what if you don't really find someone that is handsome or pretty that is saved? Are you telling me you are going to pick out the group who are unsaved? Are you telling me that? Like, hey, the external means so much to me to where I will put myself in danger. I will put myself at an disadvantage so I can have what I want externally. If you go that route and choose to do something like that that is not wise, like... Would it truly be a surprise if things don't <clears throat> if things don't work out? Would it truly be a surprise if you get hurt in the process? How can we feel sorry for you if you see the trap but choose to walk in it anyway? Like hey Kevin, if I walk in that trap, yes, you know, the bear trap may close upon my leg and really damage my leg, but hey, <laughs> that woman is fine. Get out of here, man. Look, man, I think in our culture, I don't know in many people's culture, but maybe in the West, maybe some parts of the East, I guess. I think the East is kind of ran in a different way. I guess some parts of it. But I think in some of our cultures, like we really, really, or many people, I think, really, really look at the external so much. Like really, really so much. And I think that is one of the reasons why I think the divorce rate is so high in America and in other places. You look at the external way too much. Yes, it would be nice to have someone that is really handsome and rich and popular and prestigious and all this stuff here, but does it really matter? If we die, can we take our prestige? Can we take our money? Can we take our cars? Can we take our mansion? Can we take, you know, the carnal things that we have done on this earth? I don't think so. I believe what we can take, if we get to heaven, is our deeds, how we served God, how we, not the actual deeds, but the record, I guess I can say, of what we have done, I believe. Kevin, or let me use another example, another person, Stephen, you know, you served me well, you gave to the poor, you prayed to me, you served me, you did this, you did that. Let me give you these rewards right here for being a faithful servant. 
So if that be the case, who cares who is rich? Who cares how many clothes that woman have? Hey, if, if I want to serve God, if I want to live for God, let me choose a woman who wants to do the same. Yes, she may not be very pretty. She may not be very rich. She may not be very prestigious and all this stuff here, but she has a heart for God. For an example, for an example. Yes, that man may not have all of his teeth. Yes, that man breath may stank <laughs> sometimes. Yes, that man may drive a beat up car. Yes, that man may be kind of broke, but hey, this person can pray. This person can fast. This person can really get God to do things for him. Ah, please listen, man. Look at what is important. It is nothing wrong with wanting to have someone pretty, but if something pretty is going to send you to hell, stay away. Stay away. I want someone who is going to live for Jesus Christ. I want someone that is going to be, how can I say this, like an add-on to live with, to live for Jesus Christ with me. I don't want a hindrance. I don't want someone to, I don't want to marry someone that will influence me to leave Jesus Christ. Like, what if, ah, why are we even here? Why are we even here? I think many people are choosing mates, how can I say this, spouses, or boyfriend, girlfriends, carnally. Carnally. What I look for, if a woman is interested in me, let's say, if someone is interested in me, how can I say this? If someone wants to be my girlfriend, which I am not saying I have this long list of people, no. If someone wants to be my girlfriend, she will have to live for Jesus. Like, there is no way. Around. I don't care if she is rich. I don't care if she got all the curves. I don't care if she has a six pack and soft skin and all that stuff there. If she isn't living for Jesus Christ, she can't be my girlfriend. She can't. She can't. She can have a nice voice. She can have long, soft, pretty hair. She can be very gentle and stuff like that. But if she isn't living for Jesus, how can it work? Because somewhere, I believe, somewhere down the line, we are going to come in conflict when it has something to, something to do with biblical teaching. Right? I believe so. So if you are a Christian, don't, like, why would you try to marry a Muslim like what what are you thinking that man has a nice car Kevin 
Yes, that person is Muslim. Yes, that person will beat on me and treat me wrong, but that person has nice stuff in life and I was born poor, so I want some of that stuff. Yes, I may get beat on and cursed at, but I am willing to go through it for stuff. Something is really wrong with you. Something is really, really wrong with you. Like, how is your self-esteem? Honestly, let me stop here. God bless you.